Threads has arrived and it brings with it a massive question. Is it the Twitter killer designed to free us, free us from Elon Musk's twisted midlife crisis? Or is it just a flash in the pan that will leave us crawling back to the blue check infested cesspool that we all can't seem to live without? I'm John Cooper from Counterpoint Politics, joined by my co-host Desmond Price, the Independent Thought Podcast, and special guest TJ from Power is Taken, Not Given. Um, this is the left wing. Let's get into it. I don't think we need to do an intro with a big recap for our audience, because I know you guys aren't living under a rock. You've probably used threads. Um, if you are listening to this, I'm on threads. I know Desmond's on threads. I'm I don't know if TJ's on threads. Actually, I got I got to follow you if you are. Yeah, yeah, um, sure. But the, the the questions that I want us to kind of tackle today, um, you know, do we like threads? Do we see it as, you know, should we be as, you know, the left coalescing around this and trying to make it be the dominant, you know, take out Twitter? Does it matter um, what the platform is? Um slash what do we need to see to make it improve to get there? I, you know, it's, it's a very broad conversation we're going to be having. Personally, I got a bigger platform on it <laughs> than I ever have on Twitter. So I'm going to be using it and I want to see it succeed for those personal reasons. I'm sure the left wing will, you know, will follow suit with that. Um, and we have plenty of problems with where, where Twitter's going right now. However, it also is another billionaire owned social media app it, that is not like any more like more working class than twitter is it's just elon is pissing us off more actively um but what do you guys think about it like this whole saga we have the fucking fight to talk about if we want to like oh, there's God. so many directions we can take this what, what are your guys just like knee-jerk thoughts here you know i was hesitant to sign up when i first heard about it i heard about it, i think a couple of days before it actually you know dropped which was like a week ago now and to see it get a hundred million signups in less than a week I mean, testament to, uh, I guess, the idea behind Zuckerberg and his team to have the vertical integration to where you basically just you can sign up through your Instagram account, to which if people weren't aware, I, I don't think a lot of people, if you're not really using Twitter that often, Twitter seems like it's a bigger deal than it actually is. It actually has less than half of the monthly active users that both Instagram and TikTok have here in America. So it, it's not like a widely used app by the everyday person, but very widely used by elites you know like mm -hmm. cultural elites as we kind of like specified earlier in the week here so i mean you know, like you have your entertainers on there you know politicians you know a lot of journalists you know a lot of news disseminated from twitter and so i was wondering if threads was interested in competing with that directly to which the head of instagram came out and specifically said that you know threads is not going to be really going out of its way to court the news which is one of the last kind of like things that Twitter is really used for. So to kind of answer one of your first questions here, John, I don't think it's going to be a Twitter killer because as long as Threads and Zuckerberg don't really seem that interested in prioritizing like a news model for Threads, then Twitter will always still have a lane, but hopefully this will kind of incentivize Elon Musk to make Twitter a better product. Because, you know, here's a crazy idea. If you take over an app that you buy for $44 billion, that's already struggling to have a number of monthly active users, maybe you shouldn't come into this situation and start by antagonizing half the people who still use the app. I, I don't know. Maybe that's just a, a thing you shouldn't do. I don't, I don't know. What do you think, TJ? Uh, so uh, I hadn't heard the news about uh, threads and them not courting uh, news outlets and everything, because that is like that. You, what you said is a million percent true. Twitter's yeah. user base isn't, isn't nearly as big as, as, as someone would imagine it. Yeah. But it is important for, you know, news organizations. And uh, that's how a lot of information is shared, you know, very quickly and very efficiently. I, I first started using Twitter back in, I don't know, 2010, something like that. And I was telling my friends about why I like Twitter. And they asked me, well, you know, back in then, those days, people were saying, well, you know, you can write sentence and a half, you know, at the time. Yeah. Like, what's the point yeah. of it? And I said, it's hard to explain like why Twitter is so great. So, like I figured out, or, I mean, I figured out, I first saw that Osama bin Laden had been killed on Twitter before it was announced on the news. I remember seeing that everyone was saying, wow, like we think oh, bin Laden is dead. And then they released it on, you know, NBC that night. And that blew my mind that, you know, this random, or it wasn't a random weather, but this website like, had news that big out before you know, that would never happen today. Everyone would know about it, but that I knew about it that early. But yeah. I tried to explain what made Twitter so great. And I said that Twitter, like if if you imagine Professor X 
And, you know, he had that machine, uh, Cerebro, where he could read the minds of every mutant on the planet. That's what Twitter is, except for news, that you can see news all around the world, all at the same time. And I've never seen anything like it. And I ended up using it to, like, you know, make jokes and stuff, you know, back then. That's all I used it for. And I I made a lot of friends and people and uh, on there and seeing and seeing I didn't I didn't know that 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 uh, that uh, that threads was was not going after that model. But the thing is that Elon has made Twitter just absolutely un unusable. It is a horrible website now. And I I I didn't go into it, you know, like yeah, screw Elon Musk, and I I love dunking on him and everything. But I didn't go in thinking that oh, oh I can't wait to fuck this up. He's fucked it up worse than I could have ever imagined. Like I can't go on the website for five minutes without seeing. 38 alt right, you know, Roman statue uh, uh, accounts, you know, talking about fascism. So it might just happen organic. Like they may not need the court news organizations. They may just move over themselves. I don't know if that's going to be the case. Like I'm on threads, but I think I made, are they yeah. called threads? Like I sent it with, it's not a tweet, it's a threat. I don't know, but I made three posts or something <laughs> on it, but I, it may not be up to them. And I'm like, you said, I'm not like I'm rooting for Zuckerberg or anything, but yeah. uh, it, I can see it still being uh, successful, you know, as much as any other website it may not be threads, but uh, I don't know. Yeah, I, I, you know, first of all, TJ, you make one more movie reference, and I'm, I'm gonna have to take that. If you, if I didn't you make, if, if, if you make a sports reference, we're out of here. Like you're never coming back on again. <laughs> no, um, but um, no, I, I, I. So I think that the Musk you know, the, the threads Twitter thing is, is interesting. And just like what has happened with Twitter, people will fucking yell at me until I'm blue in the face that Musk has made Twitter better. No, he fucking hasn't. Like genuinely. And I'm not saying, I didn't think that Musk would fuck it up. Like I was like, it's already fucked. You can't fuck it up. Like, like, like it's so simple. And he did. And the ways he did it are just game break. He fired everyone who <laughs> Zuckerberg was just like, hey, uh, you guys want a job? And just take, <laughs> take, take, take. Uh, did he actually do that? <laughs> yeah, he, 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 he said he wants to sue. Sue. Must sue him for that. Yeah, yeah, and it's like you fired them, you idiot. And like I, you know, I, I, I've made like TikToks about this and stuff. I work in marketing, right? And when this happened, there were because the fact that he got rid of all like the the regulations, he got rid of the the censorship, as he called it, like. A lot of the brands that were previously advertising on Twitter told us we don't want to advertise on Twitter anymore because our advertisements are being seen next to the Roman statue fascists, and we don't want to be associated with that. And like that was like, yeah, no, duh, that makes sense. You're a fucking advertising platform. And then we had other like we were running hundreds of thousands of dollars on Twitter, and suddenly we were getting the wrong numbers back from Twitter. We were like, um, that is not how much this ad got seen. That's not how much we spent on this. And it would take us a week to hear anything back because they didn't have enough customer representative. Like our, our account manager just like, he's now the one of fucking like three account managers that they had in all of Twitter and like trying to respond to everything. And he just like, pe- people don't understand that he genuinely destroyed it from a financial perspective. And then in order to compensate for that, he created the, he destroyed the verification system, which made Twitter so cool in the first place, because as you mentioned, Desmond, it's about the elites being on. Like, that's why we're on there. It's because I can tweet at my local sports talk radio guy and have him tweet back to me. And I know it's him. And I'm like, oh, that's so cool. I just got to interact with like this guy I'm a fan of, you know, and yeah. like, and it, or it can be all the way up to Taylor Swift, you know, and it's like, oh, I know. And that's what made Twitter so intriguing for so many of us that like, oh, we are now in the same public forum with the elites and we can interact with them in a way that we never could be able to before. Um, And now I can't interact with them because only the people paying for Twitter are going to show up on the top of the comments. And before, when I saw like a tweet I was interested in and I'd go scroll through the comments, it would have interesting conversations between different people. And now it's just all of the same group think people who think, you know, the same exact things. And there's no reason for me to even do that anymore. And those things have ruined Twitter for me. That being yeah. said, as I said, this is a safe space. I want to make Thread something big because I have a bigger platform on there and it personally is good for me. But I have been a little underwhelmed with there's a lack of a search feature, which makes it basically unusable for me to find new things on there. Yep. The political polarization of it, as much as like the first couple of days, it was like, oh, it's nice not to have Roman statue fascist guy on here. 
I don't miss Roman statue fascist guy, but I miss like, I don't know, any conservative politician saying anything like it, 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 it creates the same problem in reverse. And I think that if it continues going in this trajectory where there's a right wing Twitter and a left wing Twitter, that is like the worst possible outcome, because that's just boring. Well, yeah, it, well, it doesn't. Carl Carlson and they'll be good. Get a, get a Tucker Carlson show on thread said it'll be all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, I was just going to say it's um it's very underwhelming at the moment. You know, mm -hmm. I'm not going to lie to you. I think, you know, obviously, you know, from um engagement level, you can't see how many people are reposting your stuff. If you're a content mm -hmm. creator, that kind of stuff matters to you. You can't DM anybody to which from a networking space, that's how a lot of kind of, you know, mm -hmm. like things kind of take place. And that was something that I was, you know, thinking about, obviously, as you were saying, the search function, and it's really simple. But the trending thing, actually, the, the trending kind of column in Twitter mm -hmm. is really useful. It was better before Elon took over because they would give you descriptions for everything that was trending. And they had a news section where they would give you descriptions for all that kind of stuff. And I used to use the news section on Twitter on a daily basis doing this kind of work. But, you know, here nor there, I, I think threads, I would hope that we'll be going out of its way to develop these things. I mean, obviously, it's the first week. So, I mean, yeah. of course, the app is not complete or at least i hope it's not complete but as it current stands you know it's not the most engaging platform to use at the moment and i agree about the idea that we don't really want to create two separate echo chambers mm -hmm. you know i i don't want to be around all of the wildness that is going on with with twitter right now but there does need to be a little bit of diversity and specifically the one thing that i do I want to get away from that is a, a staple of Instagram, of Facebook, and now of threads, is this like algorithm making making decisions for you about what you're going to see in your feed versus just a feed of your followers. Like I, I don't like no offense to anybody who I haven't followed yet, but if I'm not following you, I don't want to see your content. I just no offense. <laughs> I just I just don't want to see it, you know, unless I go and follow you. I don't want to see your stuff and I don't want you know, threads to be deciding what to put in front of me. I want to make that decision for myself. So I do think there's a little bit left to be desired. I, I don't really, I'm not really over here, like cheering for Zuckerberg's ascension here as he acquires another thing on top of <laughs> everything else that he already has. But I will say that if I have to choose between liking Zuckerberg or Elon Musk, I'm going to choose the guy who is not online saying that he wants to actually have a dick measuring contest. With Zuckerberg and Elon, that was, like, that was my second thought. Mm -hmm. it, oh, I remember now. But you mentioned how uh, the people you don't follow, you don't want to see them. They're having that problem on Twitter, too, with the blue check thing. Because yeah. the blue checks, you know, they pay, these guys pay $8 a month, you know, to, to post their shitty content. It's like, bro, if you have good content... You will not need to pay eight dollars a month to force people to look at it. Like you don't have to do it. Like it's that yeah. they'll they will follow you if you're good. And it's killing the platform. It's it's horrible. But which you might not rooting for Zuckerberg. True, not rooting for Zuckerberg. But one thing that I I despise Elon Musk, but he has my undying gratitude. Like when the lights finally go out for TJ, one of the last thoughts in my my mind are going to be how thankful I am that Elon Musk made the worst decision he could possibly make in, in increasing his public visibility and, you know, not <laughs> shutting up and talking all the time and just posting his thoughts, doing multiple interviews, because he is killing this whole idea people have of the genius billionaire thing. Yes. And like I, we know that, you know, billionaires are not geniuses, but they are not all created equal. Some are smarter than others. Mark Zuckerberg is a hundred times smarter than Elon Musk. <laughs> Not just like, you know, like with computer shit uh, or anything, but he also knows after like, he's figured out, oh, I'm a huge fucking weirdo. People are creeped out by me. I don't have human emotions. <laughs> People can see the deadness in my eyes. I'm not going to blast myself on TV and post my thoughts all the time. He had that one weird video where he was smoking meats and stuff. He's like, okay, that was not received well. I'm backing off. Plus, it's not smart. the video of him on the water ski, just all all sunblocked. <laughs> it's like, it's like he, he looks like a cyborg and everything. So he limits his public exposure. So, you know, when looking at him real, I'm like, okay, yeah, give me like the 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 less weird uh lizard person with uh Mark Zuckerberg. So yeah, it's it's uh 
if, if I got to fight Alien versus Predator, I would go Alien versus Predator here. I'm going with the one who seems like like less of a homunculus. Like I'm going definitely with uh with uh, Zuckerberg on this. <laughs> yeah, and and for anyone who's wondering, in my you know professional uh, opinion of who would win that fight. Zuckerberg will kick Elon's ass. Oh, no chance. And yeah, it's not no even shot. close. If that fight happens, I'm betting quite a bit of money on Zuckerberg. Oh, um, yeah, no <laughs> but no, um, for everyone, you know, who's watching this, go follow, you know, all of us on threads because we do want to make it happen. I do. Th I think that we can all agree that like, it's at least good to have healthy competition for Twitter. Yes. Being Twitter like was the sole public forum that anyone could get on. And it, it truly was like before the whole paywall thing a place where anyone could grow a following and get that. And I, I would like to just see more healthy competition in places like that. So, you know, follow us all. Um, If you haven't, we will be posting and trying to, you know, keep it a thing and keep it growing. Um, But yeah, um, if you guys have any thoughts about what you'd like to see from threads that we didn't mention, make sure to let us know in the comments.